sending the wrong emoji or liking a post on social media could be enough to ruin your relationship, a leading psychologist has warned. Showing too much interest in the digital lives of someone other than your partner can be considered acts of infidelity, dubbed micro-cheating. While the actions themselves may seem relatively trivial, they can have the same emotional impact as sleeping with someone else, according to one expert. Five ways you might be micro-cheating adding a former partner on social media apps like Snapchat or following them on Facebook and Instagram. Using too many images with romantic connotation, like hearts and flowers, in online communications. Saving the contact details of a friend of the opposite sex under a false name. Sending complimentary messages, either publicly or privately, to someone of the opposite sex online. Tagging a member of the opposite sex in a post as part of an inside joke. Dr. Martin Graff, a psychologist from the University of South Wales, says that the click of a mouse button can be enough to put you at risk of micro cheating. The term has risen in prominence over recent years as a way of describing the grey area between friendly interaction and infidelity, particularly in the online world. Examples of micro-cheating may include checking the social media accounts of a former lover or saving the contact details of a friend of the opposite sex under a false name. Messaging someone without your partner's knowledge or adding a previous partner on Snapchat could also be considered acts of micro-cheating. It might even be something as seemingly innocent as sending a heart emoji to someone. Speaking to the Telegraph Drive Graph, who is an associate fellow of the British Psychological Society, said, in terms of the history of human communication and relationships this is all brand new. Social media interactions have an inherent ambiguity. I am sending a heart in a Facebook message being unfaithful. Or is it micro cheating? It can be something as simple as repeatedly liking someone's posts on Instagram or commenting on someone's Facebook. Secrecy or covert communications are often, but not always, a sign of micro cheating. Interest around micro-cheating was renewed recently when Australian psychologist Melanie Schilling spoke to Mail in Line about the types of behaviour that the concept describes. She said, you might be engaging in micro-cheating if you secretly connect with another person on social media, if you share private jokes, if you downplay the seriousness of your relationship to your partner or if you enter their name under a code in your phone. These are all signs that you are conducting a covert flirtation and keeping it from your partner. If you feel you have something to hide, Ask yourself why not everyone is convinced by the concept, however, with critics claiming that the idea encourages controlling behavior as well as spying on the online lives of your significant other. Hundreds of people have taken to Twitter to call out the concept as stupid, BS and controlling.
Clinical psychologist Dr. David Lee said, claims of micro-cheating, like emotional infidelity and financial infidelity are insidious ways to expand therapists' intrusion into all aspects of normal life, feeding on the anxiety they induce by pathologizing every life problem encountered. Another user added, micro-cheating is a stupid concept, and you're allowed to have meaningful friendships with people outside of your relationship. If your partner tells you otherwise, that is abuse, 